We are very excited this year because we are going to be having a youth energy seminar. Um, for the, you know, this is, and it's incidentally, this is something that we have been contemplating for a while. And I guess the pandemic um, has created what you could call a, a quite a captive audience for things that in the past would not they have, would not have been as high, you know of such a high interest in the sense that persons are more willing to look at um, virtualization um, as the means of delivery um, compared to two three years ago um, because we had contemplated a youth seminar by virtual means and it was always a challenge to find a way to do it and a slot to do it and of course a lot of technologies have, have been advanced and accelerated in terms of the ability to post these things so we are looking at a youth energy symposium or a seminar if you want to call it that um, where it is that we will have um, institutional leaders energy thought leaders in the region um, persons like uh, myself and Dr. Carrie Jackson and some of the persons, uh, probably Secree, and some of the other persons who are heads of institutions related to energy, um, speaking about um, what are some of the happenings um, within their own portfolio and what are some of the visions on which they are working with respect to the Caribbean energy dream. Um, and not, not just a dream of the Caribbean energy pursuit, because we do view it as more than just a dream, but a pursuit that is realizable. So we will, you know, speak to the youth to let them know what it is that we are, we are doing and what it is that we envision that these um, actions will lead to. Um, and interact with them bilaterally for them to, of course, ask questions and, of course, um, get deeper understanding of what we are doing. But then we reverse the cycle and we ask the youth to present to us their own um, actions, uh, current state and actions, and their own visions of what they would like to see the care community future look like. And we will listen to them and ask them questions, and then we will have a, 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 a dialogue session thereafter, after those two sets of um, bilateral presentations. We will have dialogue, uh, open, um, forward-looking, constructive um, dialogue, where we will come up with um, a set of what we could call priority areas that you know we would want to see pursued um, and we can reach agreement to among us, the youth and us who are thought leaders within the energy sector, within the region, coming to some consensus around some areas that we should focus on going forward. So we are very excited because we are looking forward to seeing what emerges from this so that we can really integrate what the youth brings to the table um, within the energy program going forward. So it's not just a talk shop. It's really something that we are intending to find ideas from and to then integrate those ideas into the work and the approach that we are taking going forward.